it kind of blends into the water. So it emulates from balcony to like the water? Yes, like going into the beach. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey everyone, I'm Grace. I'm Eugene. Yes, today we are stepping into a sleek three-room HDB apartment that blends modern design with tranquil coastal vibes. Eugene is the principal designer that brought this vision to life. Let's dive right in. Let's go. Let's go. Eugene, can you share more with us about the inspiration behind this theme? For a coastal theme, right, mainly we wanted the place to look spacious. And to do that, we played with colours, we played with different textures, such as the mid-tone wood that would be able to match furnitures easily. And then also easily blend into the kitchen where it's a bit of a beach kind of feeling. So we used a bit of the blue mosaic tiles to bring out the pop of colour and also to play with arches. We used more earth tones, but the texture actually adds to the contrast of the whole place. The mid-tone wood is a bit like the sand on the beach and then yes. the blues is like the sea, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Eugene, I really like the open layout. Is there any reason why you want to do it like this? For the marine coastal theme, right, we wanted it to be spacious because this kind of theme cannot be boxed in. And we want to remove the wall so that it will have that effect. We place with glass. As mentioned just now, right, the mid-tone woods blend into the tiles behind, which is kind of like the balcony feeling that opens up into the beach area. So that's the whole effect that we were trying to achieve for our client. Right, so it's like stepping out into another corner but not partitioning it up. Yes. It really makes like the whole house looks much bigger than it is. Yeah, so. it does. Yeah. Grace, let me show you something cool okay. over here. <laughs> wow. Right here. Unlike most properties in Singapore, we did a shaker design for the kitchen. What is a shaker design? <laughs> it's actually this border that you see here. Uh-huh. Most carpentry doors are flat, right? So uh-huh. we added this border and it's throughout the kitchen and even the top cabinets. It kind of uh-huh. adds into the coastal vibes of the kitchen. This design, we cannot use laminate because there'll be too many join lines. So what we did was only for certain parts that are more flat, we used the laminates. And then we got our spray painter to match the colour of the laminate and spray it on the doors. Wow. Yeah. If you didn't say it, I wouldn't even be able to spot because it's like so seamless. Yeah. And I like how, you know, the water dispenser is also like the same colour. Right? Yeah, the colour matching is like, wow, very good. I was good. so amazed that they had this colour. <laughs> yeah. I want to show you about the tiles. Okay, for these tiles, if you notice, it's a little bit on the shiny, shimmering part. It's to mimic sand. Oh, no wonder I see a little bit of sparkle in it. It's like so subtle. We use colour grout for this whole area so that it will be more seamless and you'll look more like sand. Right, there's a lot of talk between it. Yeah. The amazing thing about 3-room HDB resales is that we can have a lot of things that we can play with. It's like a blank canvas. And in this area here, we carved out this walkway corridor. I can show you. It kind of blends into the water. So this nook that we have created here, we fully utilize it. So it emulates from balcony to like the water kind yes, of feeling. Going into the beach. Oh yeah. wow. There's this little curve here, right? It yep. must be not easy to do. Yes, it requires quite a bit of workmanship for the tiler to cut on the mosaic tiles and also the big tiles. Eugene, we are finally in the bedroom. It used to be the master bedroom, storeroom, and then the common room, oh. which we combined the three spaces into one. Our client gets a big wardrobe here, bed, sitting area. Another thing that you might notice, right, is this entire structure here. Uh-huh. This is actually a double-sided feature wall. So instead of using normal concrete walls, right, or partition walls yeah. that takes up space, mm-hmm. we fully maximize this area because we are playing with every single mm that we have. So in front is storage and then it leads to the back which is a feature wall. And I like how this feature wall has these like curved little things. Yeah, and the curve is more of to blend so it's not so abrupt. And it leads to the glass panel here where when you open up the curtains, you close the doors, right? This whole place looks very big and spacious where you get to see even out of the room. So it's like an entire open concept stretch all the way to the bedroom. Yes. Eugene, it's my first time seeing a toilet like in this airship, right? Is it a hack through? Because there's two doors. 
yes, for this area, we actually did do a hack through because in the older HDBs, right, there's only one toilet and one bath area. And we fully utilize whatever space, whatever angle we have to still create this wet and dry area in this bathroom. We actually created a concrete wall that on one side, it separates the vanity area, which has wood and all that, from the shower. And on the other side, we have a recessed niche where in this area, our client can actually put their shampoo, soap and all that, and they don't have to go and buy from external sources. Eugene, thank you for touring me around. And I understand that this is a very old HDB flat, right? Yeah. Is there any challenges that you face while doing this project? This theme is rather unique. It's a marine coastal theme. It's not every day that we see something like this. So I think one of the challenges is to inculcate this theme while still making the whole area feel capacious. Can you also share with me more on what are some of your unique design solutions? The main design solution for this house is actually this entire feature wall that leads to the glass. What we did here right, to create this feature wall was to hack down the entire wall and then build up this carpentry that acts as the wall but with storage. So it's like giving the wall storage, so to speak, you know? Because we want to really maximise every single inch of this house and also keep it spacious. Right, so you really saved up a lot of space and maximise the entire space. Yes. Eugene, is there any advice for our viewers who wants to explore new themes that are like timeless yet a little bit more different from the other trends out right now? People are trying to explore and jump into more unique themes. It's always fun to play with colours and my advice would be go for colours that mean something to you. Because I mean when you jump to colours that are trendy, that may work but people may tend to feel like this is boring after 5 to 10 years. So if you want it to be timeless, it's really to get the colour that you like. So for our client, for example, she loves blue. Or maybe for myself, I like green, so maybe I can think about getting more elements of green in my house as a spark of colour over like more earth tones like white or beige. Right, so it kind of goes according to your lifestyle also. Yes. One of the things that I really enjoy doing is more on the styling as well. So the theme can be whatever it is, right? But the styling comes in where we bring in the characteristic of our client. So it's like your flavour, your own touch in the house. And it's great because these things are temporal, they're not permanent. Maybe this is something you like for the next few years. But then after that, you can always refresh the look. And the whole house will look different again. Right, so the furniture and like the little styling pieces. Yeah, display items that you put around the house. Like we have some display shelves that we incorporated here and there to break the carpentry design. Mm. Thank you so much for all these tips, Eugene. It's very helpful. And if you guys like our content, do remember to like, like share, share and, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.